plant provides sort of a healthy visual, so we get tanned through to the various sort of oral theme areas. And I, again, I mentioned the, the scope of being determined as a plant, so sort of we decide that a piece of weight is being taken. The plant itself has been devised following a very uh, detailed and professional best of practice risk based approach in line with the new public sector internal standards and the old code of practice with general audit. Uh, it uses the following sources to sort of uh, provide for the detail. We examine in some detail the corporate risk registers, the departmental risk registers, we engage with senior officers and senior managers and chief officers across the division. We review external audit and inspection reports on that to determine any themes, any issues, any sort of problems that have been identified by them. We look at the corporate strategies, uh, we pull an arsenal cumulative audit knowledge and experience like that regarding sort of whether we've been problems or issues that have been in the past. We engage with other sort of heads of audit from outside of the sort of the, the council like that, from across the sort of northwest region. Uh, we're very active when we have a lot of colleagues like that, and we do sort of pull and share sort of plans and discuss where risks are sort of prevalent now. And finally, extremely useful and helpful to sort of determine what needs to go in there, whether it's so much greater. And then finally, uh, our professional judgment to get on the risk of fraud and errors that they will, whether those issues are, are like too much sort of prevalent. Perhaps the, the only other point to note really I want to say is the allegation the other day is identified for 1516, uh, identified at 2.2. They've been adjusted to reflect the again the establishment resource they have available. Uh, I am very confident this resource is sufficient to enable delivery across all areas of the plan. Uh, and will allow me to provide the SSG uh, offer the officers with the assurance opinion that uh, I need to provide on a regular basis. Um, comparative data obtained from other similarly sized public sector sort of organisations and delivers uh, indicates that we as an internal audit service could provide a, a very efficient and affordable service and sit in the sort of higher quartile of the, the, sort of, uh, the, the highest performing delivers like this. I'm very happy with where we are at the moment and I say I'm happy with the resources that I have available to, to deliver those assurances. Um, I have made some quite specific changes that have flagged up here. It's 2.9 on page 5. Uh, and, and again, they just reflect the results of the risk planning exercise that I sort of talked about earlier. The problems and the rules that will filter through. And but for the moment, those are some of the items that, that we've added to the plan. And, uh, I thought it was worthy of sort of bringing to your attention. <coughs> um, probably as much as I need to say, really. I'm more than happy to sort of take any questions that you might have. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm not sure whether it, it, it fits in our given you know, it was an universal credit and um, the role of the world would be universal credit. Um, I know it's part of the universal credit would be the house benefit payment to the world and stuff like that. Where does that fit in with this development policy? Because I know you've got to put the care act and you know transition back to protected family inspection program. All that the business to be very specific. Where are we picking that one? I'll tell you how. Um, if you look at the uh, page seven, which is effectively the first page of the, the plan itself, under the core financial system is uh, one of the sort of benefits. Uh, that covers all of these sort of uh, uh, benefits related to the way. Maybe if I can it, it sits within the sort of core financial system to a section 151 if I'm to undertake work on an annual basis within these areas. Like within that benefit sort of uh, time that we've allocated on it, there'll be sort of. And I know that now we be not be allocating time. It can and it probably will be uh, as the plan sort of develops during the year. For the moment, I'm going to feed for your person. You know it's there. Uh, yeah. I don't know if nobody else knows it's there. Uh, that's an empty plan. But that is going to be a piece of work that you are not monitoring. You may not be dealing with the time, but you're monitoring because it has, it has big impacts. Yeah. Um, or potential big impacts if it's not uh, actually monitored or controlled. What, what I perhaps haven't explained is that what sits beneath this plan is a, a very detailed audit universe plan with a lot of detailed sort of uh, audits identified on it. I don't know if it's in there. I don't know if it's in there. Just like universal. Fair, that's it. Not a problem. And then we know it's been actually covered in the last particular part. Yes. And it's not showing up. 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 It's not showing up.
Yeah. <laughs> 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 no comments. Yes. <laughs> 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 